Yo, what's going on everybody? I want to welcome you guys to today's video. In this video, I'm going to be installing a new monitor to my gaming station. But before we hop into the video, I just wanted to give a big shout out to one of my Twitch subscribers, Johnny Awesome. He ended up sending me this dope Allen Iverson draft t-shirt that I'm wearing in today's video. So check out the shirt that I'm wearing right here, man. Dope Allen Iverson draft t-shirt, man. Today's video is really about me upgrading my gaming station. Now, I haven't really made too many videos about my gaming station, but I felt like today was one of those days because it's somewhat of a milestone for me in this whole setup now what I'm gonna do is everything inside this video all of my capture cards mics headset table my cable management system my monitors everything my chair whatever anything that I have in this video will be linked below in the description um you can check it out right now while you're watching the video if you go over to kit.com slash iPod King Carter and if you want to check out some of the things for yourself everything will be there for you but let's check out the desk real quick I stay with the MacBook the MacBook is where I edit all of my videos I am not an editor on PC I do not claim to be very very great at editing but I do edit a lot so right here is my A50s this is what I use to game with on PlayStation 4 so this is my primary headset and only headset that I use this is the dream with the new base station this right here is my Canon T3i Rebel no I have not upgraded to a new joint but um, I do have a road mic on it, so this will be the camera that I will be using in the assembly of my new monitor for this video. Bullcrap, mouse, and uh, keyboard combo. You guys can see that right there, man. This is just going to get me through like the next few months. Got my PlayStation 4. Uh, got my BenQ monitor. Uh, this is a 24-inch, and that's exactly why I have a new 24-inch monitor, because I want to run dual monitor setup. Uh, got my PlayStation cam. Got my Logitech C930E. Got my Razer Siren. This is the only mic that I use for my commentaries. I don't use any other mics. Custom Elgato HD60S um, with my face on it. Pretty dope. My Apple Watch stays charged up unless I walk out the house. I have this little thing that I got from Amazon. It is also on kit but it's just what I use for a little bit of cable management but not all of my cable management. I have my iPhone 7 Plus here just because whenever I'm streaming or I'm on this monitor I need to look at my notifications and I don't like picking up my phone too much so if a notification pops up on my screen I just read it real fast if, I, if it's nothing important I just let it slide by stuff like that. And moving on to my Astro A40TRs I use these to listen to everything that comes out of my PC and this right here is my PC monitor. Yes, I'm running one of the smallest monitors ever, man. This is a 15 inch games monitor with a games rail system. The rail system is dope. Not gonna take anything away from the rail system, but the monitor is not meant to be used for PC gaming at all, bro. This is a 15 inch 720p monitor, but I will be installing today the 24 inch 1080p monitor, but I won't be giving this monitor up. What I will be using this monitor for is portrait view to read Twitch comments. I have this DX Racer chair. Um, Yeah, let's go ahead and move that out the way. All right, guys, so let's go under the hood real quick. You guys would probably never know this, but this cable management system that I got going on is insane, man. And down here is my custom PC. Um, I still want to say thank you to everybody who showed love on the Twitch streams and helped donate it and people that watch my videos. You guys are the reason that this thing sits here. So most likely for the rest of this video, you're going to be only seeing my hands do work. But I wanted to let you guys know that I got a new knife for unboxing, so it's definitely going to be lit. But let me go ahead and put that down. I want to show you guys the products that I'm actually going to be going over. This right here is the weighted stand for the monitor that I'm going to be opening. And the monitor is the M240 from Game. So, these are two Games products. But what I wanted to let you guys know is, I told you that I was going to be literally putting a webcam on either monitor, trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. But, as a quick update, the weight stand right here comes with a slot for the webcam. So... I'm going to put this weight stand together, I'm going to put the monitor together, and I'm going to put the webcam on this weight stand. Alright, so let's go ahead and open these things up. Alright, so it comes with a nice little power cord right here, so there's going to be something else that I have to plug in, of course. The um, M155 is a 15 inch screen that I'll use, and it doesn't have its own power source. It already comes pre-assembled, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that. Now, what I meant by pre-assembled is it already comes with a hook on the back of the monitor. You know what I'm saying? So you can carry it real easy. Uh, and it's also not that heavy. Plus, if you wanna turn it to play it, you can do it like that. So this is how the monitor is supposed to sit up. Supposed to sit up just like that, nothing too crazy. All right guys, so from what this car says right here, it comes with a power cable. A uh, cable for your headphones, a uh, sub out cable, two inputs for HDMI, and an output. So that means that this screen can actually be lag free with a external Elgato. That's pretty dope because most screens don't come with a HDMI out. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be putting the weight stand together. Alright guys, so with this weight stand, it comes with a rail system, the mount, the horizontal rail, the AR handle and a spring clamp. So it almost comes with everything that my 15 inch rail stand comes with, but just a little bit more for webcams and PlayStation cameras or Xbox cameras. <laughs> Alright guys, so there is still so much to do. So far, I have the base hooked up. I have the spring clamp for a cell phone. I also have the mount for a Xbox Connect, but what I'm probably going to use this for is probably to hang something from it. Um, I also hooked up the back base, which you hold on to it. You know what I'm saying? Real sturdy. Now, I have to actually hook up the mount piece. All right, we gotta have to hook up the mount piece right here so we can be able to put the M240 on to the actual rail stand. Let's get it. All right, guys, so I finally have the mount hooked up. Let me go ahead and straighten that up though. But uh, it's time to put the actual monitor on this bad boy and see how it holds up. Let's do it. All right, now this is supposed to fit right in place. Let's go ahead and see how that works. All right, okay. Okay. All right, you guys, so I finally finished the whole entire assembly. I put the weighted stand together. I put the monitor together. I plugged everything up. Now it's time to show you guys what I've come up with. Now this is not gonna be my final setup. I still have a few things that I wanna tweak. Give me a few days and everything will be looking perfect. I'll probably post a picture via Twitter, but right now I wanna show you guys what the monitor looks like hooked up, plugged in, and set up on a way to stand. So I'm running my PlayStation 4 off my BenQ monitor and I'm running my CPU off of my games monitor. Screen monitor right here, I do wanna hook it up and use it for Twitch comments like I said in the beginning of the video, but I have to find some space to put it either on this unit that is already holding my monitors or I may put it above this actual monitor right here now if you look here i still have a few clamps here and there is something that can actually go right here and i can actually put this screen on top of it but i want this screen to be in portrait view so it may have to stand alone <laughs> 